Is that on our wish list uh, to get a swimming pool just beside the shed? And a putt-putt. And a putt-putt course next to the shed. I think it's important for workers' health. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the channel. We're back here at the main farm and we've got a bit of a project to do. We've got the uh, cat challenger here and it needs to get a engine rebuild. So what's happening is I think there's a couple of issues. It is a fairly high houred machine so it's over 10,000 hours I think. Um, but yeah the turbo, um, there's some issues with that and also there's a injector seating in the head which is um, yeah leaking, so really needs a new head. Um, but because it's such high hours, what we're doing is we're gonna pull the motor out and um, we're actually gonna send it to Western Australia, which is a fair way away, but because um, they've got all the parts that are needed and um, yeah, obviously the expertise. So that, um, yeah, that's what's gonna happen today, hopefully. Hopefully we can, it's gotta go on the truck tomorrow. So um, yeah, no pressure, but we've gotta get it out today. morning tea time we've got a decent amount done we were hoping we could pull the radiator out and then we could get to the bits under there that we needed to uh, get this oil cooler out and that but yeah it looks like it's going to be trickier so we've got to um, probably drain the hydraulic oil so we can undo the fittings under there um, we're hoping to be able to leave the air conditioning system intact so we'll pop the compressor off and just once the radiator's out we can set it down here and then, um, yeah, then it's just a matter of, um, yeah, getting the motor out from that. So we'll, um, we're just making it up as we go. We've never done it before. So we'll, uh, we're just, yeah, trying to work out what sequence it needs to be done in. But anyway, we're getting there, we're getting through it. far off uh, actually attempting to pull it out so Brad's been making up a spreader bar and working out how to lift it up we're trying our hardest to be able to get the motor out without taking off that top fuel tank and all that so um, yeah we're just gonna see how much we can damage but, uh, Brad's all fresh from his holidays so he's, he's on the breaker bar yeah. get, getting amongst it just not getting the tan now <laughs> He, uh, yeah, he's been complaining that there hasn't been a pool that he can go and jump in. No, exactly. Not the dam, bro. <laughs> yeah, the, the dam's nice and clean. So, um, yeah, got the spreader bar there and come along here so we can adjust the angle. I think pretty well everything's out now, isn't it? We're just about ready to give it a try. We want to... Yeah, making sure everything's clear. Like my side's got a lot more 
experience now because it all seemed as well over your way. Yeah, I think that um causing a few issues. Going over your way. Oh, like with that bracket, yeah. yeah Do you want to step. Right, I go forward, mate. Forward. Or backwards. You go backwards, actually. I need clear directions, Brad. We can go up a little bit. Go oh. Forwards, backwards, up or down. Yeah, up a little bit. Yeah, forward. Yeah, I think you're hitting on something. Right hitting on something there. Oh, yeah. You just need going up more. We're sort of hitting that post. Do we need to lift the front of the motor up a bit? Well, we can. Yeah. Do you want to lift the whole lot up? Yeah, if you can. Keep going. Now we're looking at the top. Yeah, good. Thanks, Keep going. Yeah, a bit more. Yeah. Luke. Yeah. Right, I'll go back a bit now. Keep going back another six inches. Yeah, work. Now just go up now about four inches maybe if you can. Yeah, we Is that quite? Yeah, oh. this just way. wait, work. This pipe's pretty solid here. Can we pull that out of the sway or maybe go all way a bit? Yeah, yeah. That's as far as I can go. Yeah, yeah just go up a little bit. Up. Well, I need to go up about four inches, but do you want to go up or back? To clear the sump on the bottom here. Oh, yeah. Why don't you come this way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, I'll go back another two inches. Yeah, keep going back. Alright, you might have to go up, start going up a little bit now, Matt. <laughs> well, this is the motor, and yeah, so we're just going through, blocking off a few of the ends. They actually wanted it mostly complete, so we've tried to leave as much as we can on there. Um, and yeah, just double checking it's all right for transport. And then we've got to find a bit of scrap metal and different things to just try and make a bracket um, so we can ship it nice and sturdily, if that's a word. Um, and yeah, so that'll be. That'll be this afternoon's job. And then uh, Dad can take it into town tomorrow. So, um, yeah, no, it, came, it took about four hours to get it all out. So all in all, not too bad. I reckon it'll take longer to go in though. But um, yeah, hopefully we're just spending a bit of time to mark out where all the bolts and bits and pieces have come from. And um, yeah, that should make it a bit easier to go, go back in. Right, well, we're just about at the moment of truth. Um, we've just been cutting up and jigging up this jig, I guess. Um, so we can, yeah, obviously mount the motor to it for transport. Um, that's all just tacked in and we've cut out the little slots there so we can get a nut in on the bottom. 
So we're just about to mount it on um, so we can mark out where we need to drill the holes on the top of those so it can, yeah, so we can put a bolt through these. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how, we, how good we are. What do you reckon, Johnny? What's the chances of it just lining up beautifully? 50-50. 50-50. Sounds about right. Truth. So I just got a bit of RHS welded there to, for the forks to go through, just to help with the stabilisation. Just go up a bit and I'll check whether it's um what's well warped or whether it's a cement. Oh, that looks good. Well, uh, Johnny's just given it a once over on the wa uh, with the pressure washer. But um, here we go. This is what temperature is on uh, in the shed here. So that is 101 degrees Fahrenheit. So it has certainly been hotter than this, but it's a bit rude because we've uh, had a very lovely mild summer so far. So this is probably the first, um, yeah, sort of good run of pretty hot weather. So anyway, we'll get used to it. What do you think, Brad? Is she a bit hot? You need your swimming pool. Yeah, uh, well, putt. Putt putt golf would be a bit hot at the minute. Yeah, the oh right. Well, is that is that on our wish list uh, to get a swimming pool just beside the shed? And a putt putt, and a putt, -putt course next to the shed. I think it's important for workers' health. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you doing up there? Uh, well, we're all lucky to put a tanner bracket on. wasn't strong enough, so I broke. 
Is there dodgy auto electricians around here, is there? Oh, I'll put a put an engine build and mount on my bit. Yeah, right. Uh, I think you ripped the roof off before the bracket broke. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those that I have mentioned it before, but um, basically all of us had to go and get a trade before we came back to work on the farm. And Brad did his in engine rebuilding. Uh, Phil did was an electrician, and I did mine as an auto electrician. So, uh, yeah, we rip into each other about the the dodgy parts of our trade. Well, Matt's gonna get me a GoPro, so you might see a bit more of me. So that might be dangerous. Yeah, I've been I'm an aren't about that for a while because you're just not quite sure what's going to come out of his mouth, and that's there's been a reason we've sort of hidden him. Um, he's the wild, he's the wild one. But, but anyway, still the editor. yeah, I'll, I'll still be in control of editing, so yeah. I'll make sure nothing too crazy happens. But <laughs> <laughs> no promises. <laughs> anyway, I'm dead. What? Well, it's nearly knock-off time. No, you got to clean your tools up. Oh, there's a big mess over there. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Alright, yeah. better do that. Then. Well, guys, that'll be the end of the video. Um, just like I always say, or most of the time I say. If you enjoy the videos, just make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, hit the like button. Uh, and also, we are on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, the links are in the description. And we'll catch you in the next one.